a marvelous Monday to all of you. I hope you enjoyed my message last week on the law of contribution. This week I would like to talk about a question that many people actually ask me. How do you get motivation? Or who motivates you? I asked this question from a colleague of mine recently and he said, well, I get motivation from Afif. So I said, well, so you wake up in the morning and you keep looking for me? <laughs> and you meet everybody and you ask where is Afif? He said, yes. And then I said, well, what if I'm not there one day? Oh, well, I'll call you. You see, the, the whole idea of motivation, how we understand, I think, is a little bit wrong. A lot of research shows that motivation has to come from you. It is something you have to come from within. For example, who motivates me to do these Monday motivational videos? Nobody. The fact that I can wake up in the morning, I can coordinate with Mondo, I can coordinate my schedule and I can do it, motivates me to do it every week, every Monday. And, and that's really how it comes. So motivation has to come from within you. We. I believe that other people can inspire us, other people can guide us with their stories. When we read the stories, it will energize ourselves to be a better person, but it may not necessarily motivate us for tomorrow. Like you listen to this video, you may be motivated, but what you do tomorrow has nothing to do with my video. <laughs> you have to take action. So in order to identify this motivation within you, there are three things that you can do. Number one is, awareness self-awareness you have to be more aware of what attracts to you what you don't like what you like what are the things that you love doing because the more you do what you love doing the more it motivates you number two that you need is to i look at what are the skills that you have what are your strengths and focus on your strengths Motivation comes from your strengths, not from your weak areas, or not from the skills that you don't have. So if you're very good at, for example, doing videos or recording things or graphics or design or any skill that you have, do more of it, it will motivate you. And the third and the most important thing is that discipline is an important part of self-motivation. If you don't have discipline, it will not motivate you for doing anything. For example, you're doing something that you're very good at and you failed or you, you could not uh, you know, um, get the result you need. It's the discipline that helps you to stand up again and continue doing it. Remember, you are currently watching the World Cup games. The teams who lose in games are also going to do a better job in future if they keep learning and motivating and keep going. Remember, motivation has to come within you People can inspire you, but you have to get motivation within yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's message and be a motivated person. The world needs a lot of you and the world needs the better version of you. And the better version of you requires you to be a motivated and a humble, wonderful human being. Enjoy your week. Thank you.